uh, this um, uh, uh, short talk is about location intelligence for small business and we're doing this uh, uh, chat as part of the invitation of the New South Wales Government Small Business Month. And um, quickly about INECA, we are a company, a uh, consultant firm that is driven by our directors and we work in, in different areas based on the interests of, of the directors. One of those is in just spatial and land analysis, which is uh, uh, my area of expertise as director of the firm. We have other uh, offerings in different areas, um, including um, things like uh, facilitation and transport and consulting and so on. We have worked in different uh, parts of the world and in Australia. We have done just spatial analysis for um, local government like Darwin, or we have worked with uh, uh, international organizations like the World Bank or the Department of Transport in Victoria, Lands Victoria, and so on, and in other parts of, of, of the world too. So what is about maps and how can you use them in um, business? So there are many questions you can ask. And um, as a consultant firm, we have used GIS to help others uh, in their business to either grow or to change or to contract, cut uh, costs. And, and it's a key tool that uses in transformation. And here we see an example in which we classified the different parts of Australia based on population. So if you have a large population, uh, it's concentrated, we call it a capital city, or it's a metropolitan area, or a sub-metropolitan, and so on. And it's a segmentation of the Australian market based on location. And you can see here how um, the, the, the CBDs will concentrate a population uh, which is different to rural areas and so on, depending on where you are. So we do a segmentation based on geography. That's a question that will help a client, um, for example, understand where the clients are and where they can go better uh, about those clients. Um, here's an example in where uh, MAPS uh, focuses on helping companies in uh, uh, being able to use their energy better. No one has unlimited resources for marketing or for expanding their business. And there are certain parts that want to focus on their center resources they have. And we have help, in this case, at Telco, focusing those resources. No, they have already a footprint and they want to focus their expansions. And, and with maps, we help with that expansion. How we do it? So you can see here, we can uh, drill in very specific areas and give them information about what's happening. And in this case, for example, it's in a shopping center and you get, uh, for that specific shopping center, you get an understanding how far it is from the uh, closest uh, capital center and um, what's the, um, the classification in this case in, is, is a major regional, what is the, the number of people living in a catchment area and so on. So we get the ability based on the needs of a particular firm to dig in and say, hey, if you are in this place, we can give you this information about that. What's your competitor and so on, of course, is part of that analysis. We can also do it and much more regional. So in here you can see in, in all in multiple parts of Sydney, how we can have classified the market for uh, this telco, do it in different parts and compare them and say, hey, there are more opportunities here because this is a market that has been in explore, or perhaps you are, your your footprint here is is, um, is is overlapping with your own competitors, so you are cabalizing yourself and so on. So we have that ability to dig on a specific point and tell what's the information, demographics, relevant business information for that particular client. Or on the other hand, talk about much more on a, on a regional level and talk about um, metropolitan areas, statewide or Australian-wide. So um, that analysis could be done in multiple ways. And one of those that we can do is a micro street level analysis. And in this one, we went and studied what is the brand presence. So, the, so how much of the competitors have a presence compared to my own brand. And in here, for this particular case, you, can, you guys can see in yellow where the brand of our client was concentrated and in blue where the competitors were concentrated. So we could see areas where they were overrepresented a brand. There were multiple options for the clients to get the products, but there were other areas, in this case, the CBD of Melbourne, where they didn't have a presence and perhaps there were opportunities to open a new store or a brand presence in that area of the city. 
in every business, whatever you are, there will be some locations that are profitable for you and some locations that are not profitable for you. And in this case, we give you an example. It's been sanitized. Data has been changed to show profitability of ATMs. They are, uh, 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 depending where you put your ATM, if you're a bank or you're a provider of ATM, the profitability of the ATM would vary and have different um, possibilities. So by mapping that profitability first, showing what is profitable or not, we can deduct or analyze with this process, knowing, okay, what is the day population? What are the factors? Analyzing demographic data from the government, data from the own company, we can come up with a ranking of locations of ATMs. And that ranking could be Australia wide. So for these clients, we managed to put in one map, what is the profitability of ATMs in Australia? So in here, the, the, the most attractive uh, areas to have ATMs are the green ones and the red ones represent areas that perhaps if you put an ATM, it's not going to be uh, profitable. Similar with ATMs, we can do multiple different analysis in, in different sectors. It could be in the, in the, in the um, sport gyms, or it could be in coffee shops, it could be in any person that is looking to understand profitability for their own business, we can help them with geography. And it doesn't have to be Australia-wide because, of course, when we run analysis Australia-wide, it requires more time, more effort, and perhaps your target market is smaller. It might be a part of a state or a city or a couple of suburbs that you're looking into what is the profitability. And when we dig deeper, we cannot just tell you what is the prof where are the most what are the best location for your business? If you are a developer, where, where would be better to invest in land? Or if you are a coffee shop, where could I open my next brand? Or on the other hand, if I have 10 stores, when can, which one of those I should close because you're having financial problems? We can also predict based on our analytics how well a store will do in a different location or how well your competitors will do if you leave a location. So in here, we can tell not only this is and uh, no, this is this, the situation in a part of Melbourne for ATMs. We can tell you what is the potential of those areas for ATMs. Is it a potential for an, one extra, two extra, five extras? And based on that, predict pro uh, profitability of those ATMs. As I said, we, we put this example as ATMs, but you can imagine we, can, we, we have done it for other products and we could do it with pretty much every um, retail or commercial product that is offered. GIS, which is the technology and the uh, computer maps that we, we use for our clients, is well known to be used in logistics. So if you want to optimize delivery for your clients, if you want to understand what is the best route to collect products or be able to serve clients, GIS is the perfect technology. So shortest path kind of thing. What is, if I have five clients, what is the best way to serve them? In, 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 in the shortest period of time based on traffic or distance or, or time of the, of the day and so on. GIS is specialized for that. And we can see here for the federal government, for a product they had, they needed to deliver to multiple parts of the country. And we can see here a, a sample of a part of the, of, the, um, of the country, how using different infrastructures, the Australian Post, the Central Link offices, the, the larger offices, the Medicare office, how could they deliver it and what would be the best way around to have the people delivering the products to these, these areas. So I think it's, this, this, this is a great time for uh, maps to help business with location intelligence. I think there is more data than ever. We have a fantastic set of data that give us a very granular level data to inform decision making. And a lot of information now is on the web, so you actually can collect information on the web and give, get a lot of information. And there is increasing geographic literacy of society. More people understand maps, more people want to um, provide information as maps. Of, of course, your customers tell you uh, on a map things, and now we can use that information and provide more insightful uh, information for decision making for, for businesses. My last slide, and in here, um, I want people to um, think that um, we as, uh, as INECA, as a specialist in geospatial ge analysis, we provide the tour circles at the bottom. That's the, the map analysis and software and the modeling able to do this. And we have that by help you firm building that capability or doing the analysis for you. And the data infrastructure, we do a partnership with you with the data that you have in your own 
a business plan or your a customer database or your CRM. All those systems will help us to give us information complemented with great information we have free out there, including the census data, planning information from the government, investment, employment, and so on. But what it needs here is a subject matter expert, which is you. You are the one that knows your business. You know where you want to go. You know if you, if you want to expand or, or contract. And that partnership between our systems, your uh, data, the public data, and your knowledge of the business is what we have found in previous cases that makes success.